everyone, and welcome back to Jesse Heck Creative. Today we're going over some Spider-Man PS4 figures from Marvel Legends. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. Now let's get to it. This Spider-Man head is very bog standard, not really, I don't think, made for the actual game. It's very similar to other Spider-Man heads, and it's kind of bland as a result. The body is where it's at. I do like the paint, but the sculpt, again, we've seen before. Give us something new, something better, something grander. Luckily, the white paint really shines against the red and deeper blue. It's a really nice paint job and looks wonderful, especially on the hands and the chest. The legs look very standard from the front, but on the side, we have this nice, sort of pointed portion looks really cool there is some paint issue where it's kind of coming off the tampo right over here which is a shame but my big issue is it isn't really lined up on this side you have to twist it and then the knee is pointing inwards it's just bad design for me at least the feet are awesome though they look wonderful with those white portions coming on it and this little piece over here almost like they're modeled after shoes or something and this is very well done for the paint on the feet he comes with two fists that have pretty okay paint they aren't the best though the white is scuffing off a lot they do swivel and then hinge. I like these sort of knuckle guards on them. They're pretty nice. He also comes with tooth whip hands that look, I think, nicer than the fists. They're pretty cool. Have some good paint on them with those web lines. That's very nice to see. We also get a swivel and then a hinge on that. They're your standard whip hands, but they at least have some good paint. He also comes with a pair of these stupid webs that I really couldn't care less about. I wish these were hands in the wall crawling fashion instead of these pieces we've seen many times before. Minor articulation going on here. The paint is extended up but you have to push it down a little bit to reach and then on the other side there is a marking on this side which is a shame it's okay i guess but very much let downy for me has rosa done themselves with this miles morales figure i really love how it looks we have some very nicely done tempo in there with those web lines we also have some really good sculpting for that head the only thing i don't like is the scuffing on the edges of the eyes but otherwise it looks excellent the body is wonderfully done yet less so i I would think than the head it's just such a spectacle of red but this piece over here is all right i do like the back it looks really nice the front could use a little more red i think especially in the lower torso area this piece would look really nice in red it's a shame it's not there's also i think maybe some red missing over here and maybe over here i feel like the sculpt budget ate into the paint budget and even though the hands are painted and these are painted there could be some spots they could cover better the legs are all jet black have some really nice sculpting on them but no paint that much at all the shoes have a tiny bit of paint of red going around the back of the heel that's basically it it's kind of a letdown when compared to that great head and pretty good body like the previous spider-man he does have some paint on his knuckles and on his fingers as well looking really nice he also get a swivel and then a hinge back not that much hinge forward pretty well good sculpting and paint on these well done he also comes with webs whip hands they look really great the fingers are really nice and red wonderful the sculpt is pretty much the same as the previous with the hallmarks of that swivel and then hinge and hinge much better for this that's great very happy and he comes with a pair of wall crawling hands the trifecta is here this is excellent sound the alarm wonderful paint on these two looks great we get some swivel and then hinge back hinge forward just like the rest very nicely done for these excellent he also comes with a pair of electric hands yes the shoulder touch is here you get a swivel for these and a hinge which i'm surprised at these usually don't hinge that well and just have a post going down but these are really nice looking and super cool and amazing for kit bashing. And finally, last but not least, we have the alternate head sculpt of Miles himself. It looks really great. I love this thing. While I can't comment on the accuracy of the character model because I haven't played the game, it looks wonderful for what it is. I love the hair sculpt. The head, it looks really nice. It does come off at kind of like an edge to the end, but that's just action figure stuff going on. It does have a swivel and then all the way around and back and forth pretty well with some good pivot here and there on that double paw peg on that. But yeah, this is a really nice head sculpt very well done those eyes are great as far as articulation goes for miles morales the head can go all the way around on the ball back forward left right any way you want looking great going up this far and down for the arm and all the way around you get a butterfly joint here too it's a little stiff on this one pretty good on this one as well you get a swivel over here at the bicep pinless tech double jointed elbow here wonderfully done you get a back this far and it's painted underneath you get a forward this far and yeah it's kind of weird could be painted or sculpted or something i don't know 
know. You can just swivel over here and out. Wow, yeah, that's great, awesome. You can go up this far over here and back, pretty okay. You do get a double jointed pinless tech knee over here. Swivel over here, that does break the sculpt a bit. You do not need to swivel down here, I wish there was. And you get a pivot over here and down and then up with two peg holes at the bottom of the feet and all the little logos and stuff. And yes, it's not in the back of the knee anymore, yes. Yeah, this is an excellent, excellently articulated and accessorized figure. I do think the paint is not the best. The sculpt is really nice, but yeah, if they put more paint on this thing, it would for sure be a winner. If you like invisibility or translucent action figures, the Invisible Miles is awesome looking. I really love the coloration. It's like a ghost almost. I really love this kind of pearlescent silvery white throughout the figure, looking excellent as always and very nice. This is wonderful and super cool. He does come with the same hand choices, so don't you worry. But as far as kit bashing goes, both electric effects look better on Electro. On the left, the classic Electro has regular Miles effect, and on the right, the modern Electro has invisible Miles effects. They're slightly different in color, but they work great for these villains. As far as height comparisons go, Spider-Man stands at just under six inches tall, while Miles Morales stands at around five and three quarters inches tall for both of them. They do look pretty in scale, but I find that the older version, the original Spider-Man, needs a new body sculpt. This Miles Morales has an incredibly great body sculpt that's brand new. Why doesn't this one? That's a shame. But what's even more of a shame is the villains we'll be seeing right after this. Hello everyone, and thank you so much for watching so far. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also click the bell icon for more creativity. Now let's get back to it. Mr. Negative is a figure I've been waiting for quite a long time, but this one I don't think is really it. It doesn't make much sense to me as far as the face goes. He looks almost bored and not really that interested. The eyes look pretty okay. The eyebrows are fine. The hair is strange to me. It's gray and then all white. It doesn't really look that awesome to me as well. The sculpt is okay, but it looks like a big piece of donut roll frosting on top of his head. It kind of reminds me of Don Cheadle a little bit. It's just okay. This body is the biggest affront to nature I've seen in a long time it doesn't really look that great as far as Marvel Legends goes. We've gotten this body since maybe 2015 and we're in due for an update. It's fine for color wise I guess. Black interior, white everything else. Yeah these shoes are awful too. We've just seen this figure way too much. It's time to retire this, destroy it, and make a much better figure that can actually stand. As far as accessories goes he comes with these shadowy flamey effects that are pretty cool like if you were punching somebody but he does not come with fists to punch. Instead he comes with these pretty okay deep navy blue hands that we've seen a million times before. These effects we've seen a million times before. This whole figure is basically a repaint and it saddens me. The sword he comes with I think is new. It's an all right piece in a pearlescent kind of silver going around. It's nice but some paint's rubbing off of it which is a shame. The hilt looks nice. Really cool piece and he also comes with this really interesting kind of strange shadowy effect you can put over it. That gives it a little bit of panache and a nice touch when he's wielding it against Spider-Man. For a minor head articulation the head can go back this far forward this far you get some swivel and a little bit of pivot the rest we've seen before and let me tell you it's ugly the thugs have your regular suited body it's all right i guess my biggest issue with this thing though is the feet they do not want to stand that much at all no matter how hard you pose so just be careful with that otherwise it's your standard suited body it looks kind of fine there's a jacket that can move open a little bit and that's basically it so now on to the accessories the best part the first mask is the neutral mask. It is all right as far as everything goes. The head is bald on the back unlike the other two which is kind of strange and gives it sort of a monkey vibe to the figure. I do like how it looks. The tusks are pretty cool and the paint is really nice on this. It looks almost sad in a way. That's a shame. I gave this figure two of the guns that came with the pack. They're all right. They look ornate and really nice and they do have ports on the fronts which gives way to other accessories. There aren't any trigger fingers as far as the hands go. That's another flaw of this pack. What a shame. He comes with a longer blast and a shorter blast for his weapons that are interchangeable, as well as longer and shorter smoke effects that are also interchangeable. The frowning mask is up next. I really love how this looks. Yeah, this one's bald too, whatever. It's just boring to me by now. I do like the amount of spikes on this head. The eyes are pretty strangely done and sort of offset. There aren't that many blemishes on the paint for this mask, and that's really cool. I love how the teeth are too. It's wonderfully done and super cool. 
I gave this mask the bat. It's a more brutish sort of mask, so it has a brutish weapon. We've seen this bat before with other figures. It's pretty all right. There are some paint scuffs on it just because holding it this long in the hand doesn't really work too well. So yeah, if you hide it, it works fine, I guess. And last up is the smiling mask, my favorite of the three, and this one looks awesome. There are a couple paint issues as far as the forehead on this, but the rest of the masks that I had were worse. So yeah, take what I can get. There are some places that are kind of mismatched on it. That kind of adds to the strange glee this character has. It's almost draconian. There is a lot of hair on this figure, which adds to the insanity of the character, and it just looks wonderful. Amazing mask. I gave this one the machete. It's a nice weapon, holds really well in the hand, and yeah, probably my favorite weapon for these figures also. It looks wonderful. There are some paint blemishes on this, which is kind of a shame, but it looks great with this mask especially. They also come with this pair of fists if you don't want to equip them with anything. You can swivel and then hinge back and forth. Works nice for this or any other thug you want to put on the street. As far as articulation goes for the thug, the head can go left and right and up and down and all the way around. This is the best head for articulation and going down with the frowning and the neutral heads. You can also go up this far and down all the way around. You get a swivel over here, double jointed pinned elbow over here. You also get back this far, not really that great with the coat, and forward this far, pretty okay. You swivel over here, splits over here, and back up this far, pretty nice, back pretty okay. You do get a gummy pinned kind of knee over here that's just fine, I guess. A swivel over here, no swivel down here. A swivel down here, though, as far as the ankle. Then down, and then up this far, pretty good. And then two peg holes at the bottom of the feet. Definitely a nice figure, but they really messed up with the feet. If an action figure cannot stand under its own power, it is not a good action figure for me. And this has great accessories, great everything else, but yeah, you really have to finagle it and take a lot of time to make this stand. It's just crazy. As far as height comparisons goes, Mr. Negative stands at about five and three quarters inches tall or so, almost six inches. One of the thugs stands at about six and a quarter inches tall, and that kind of goes for all of them at slightly varying heights. And they all look nice together, and they have great accessories. I just wish the feet were better. If these figures could stand under their own power easily without having to really finagle them, they'd be way higher on my list of figures I love. Overall, the PS4 Spider-Man game should have starred Miles Morales. The regular PS4 Spider-Man is an okay figure. He has an old body mold with some actually pretty nice paint. The accessories really hold him back. He could have come with some more hands, and that would have been much better, especially on an updated body sculpt. Miles Morales is everything a Marvel Legends figure should be. Great paint, sculpt, articulation, and awesome accessories that are above and beyond the Call of Duty. I really love how this figure looks. Sure, it could use a little bit more paint here and there, but I'm fine with that. The invisible variant is awesome too. I don't mind the head that doesn't come with him. He looks really nice as well. Mr. Negative and his thugs are sadly horrible figures. Mr. Negative himself looking really nice in concept, but the accessories too are very good, yet the figure can barely stand. The body mold is too old and doesn't really work that well, even though the color scheme is very nice. His thugs fare slightly better and have a lot of great accessories for other figures, but again, they can't stand worth anything. It's a shame because I really love them in concept and those head sculpts are fantastic. The amount of accessories they come with are awesome too for other figures in the line if you want to have a street thug army, but I find that the figures themselves are just horrible. I highly recommend picking up Miles Morales and his invisible variant. They're both really nice figures with some great accessories. But stay away from Spider-Man and the villains as they aren't really that great figures, even the re-release Spider-Man that is coming out soon. But if you want to get a two-pack for the accessories and sell off the figures, that's actually a perfect idea. But make no mistake that with all the love Miles Morales is currently getting, his fandom is surely electric. So which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching Jesse Heck Creative. Feel free to click like, subscribe, share, or leave a comment. You can also visit us at jesseheckcreative.com where you'll find more reviews like this one. Thanks again for watching and keep being creative. Stay tuned!